let's take a look at the notes here. What we have is the third to the flat seven to the root to the fifth to the flat seven to the ninth. Now, one thing that uh, happens with people a lot when, I guess this is any melody you're playing, but with sweeps is people tend to start it on the same beat all the time. Um, and what I'm going to look at in this example is just starting stuff off the beat. So I'm going to be counting as I go so you can kind of get an idea of where the time is. And then starting, I'll show you some examples of starting on the beat and off the beat. And if you can get that going, what you'll find is if you start off the beat or on the beat, it's kind of going to change the way you hear the line. And you'll probably even hear that when I play. If I start off the beat, I'll probably end the line slightly differently. So this can really add in a lot of uh, new ideas to your playing just by you know switching up just where you're starting the pattern, which is a pretty simple thing, um, but takes a little work. So let's go to the jam track and check it out. So here's our time. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now if we start on the beat, one. Off the beat, one and two. One and two and three and One. I'll start on the beat. Off the beat. One. One, two, and three. Check that out. Just um, you know, try to count along with you know the jam track or any track you want, um, and start on the beat or start off the beat. I was just using eighth notes, but we'll look at a lot of different rhythms now um, that you can use to really change that up, and that's really going to help you. Just you'll see if you just start doing that, you start hearing a different melodic line because when you're starting in a different place, your creativity just you know, here's something slightly different. So work on that a little bit, and I think you'll see it will uh, give you a lot of new ideas.